Welcome to Engineers Academy. Subscribe to my channel and click on the bell icon to receive the notification for the upcoming videos. This is the last problem from the moments topic. So this is problem 258. So in this problem it is said that the 120 Newton force. So this 120 Newton force is applied as shown to one end of the curved wrench. So this is the curved wrench and the force is applied at some angle alpha. Now we are going to solve this problem 258. Now we are going to solve this problem 258. So it is the last problem from the moments topic. So in this problem it is said that a 120 Newton force. So this 120 Newton force is applied as shown to one end of the curved wrench. So this is a curved wrench AO. If alpha, if alpha is 30 degrees, if this angle is 30 degrees, we need to calculate the moment of F about the center O. So we will calculate the moment of this F about this point O, right? Determine the value of alpha which would maximize the moment about O. State the value of the maximum moment. So in the first part we will find for alpha equal to 30 we will find the moment of this force and in the second part we will find the alpha value for which the moment of this force will be maximum about this point O right. So to solve the first point let me draw a let me join this and this and let me put here that this point is B right. So now if we resolve this force into its components, right, so this will be the one component, right, this will be the vertical component of this force and this one will be the horizontal component of this force and both of these components are producing moment about these points, right. So if I write here that this is the positive x axis and this is the positive y right so then this is f of y and this is f of x right so f of y will be 120 and this is alpha this alpha is given which is 30 in the first case right so it is 120 cos of 30 degrees and f of x is this f of x is 120 sine of 30 degrees right so now the perpendicular distance of f of y from point O is this OB. So let me write the moment about O. So then this will be equal to and let's assume that the clockwise moment is positive, right? So as we can see that this f of y is producing clockwise moment. So I will write f of y into its moment arm. So the perpendicular distance of f y from O from point O is this OB distance. So I will write OB right and as we can see there this f of x is also producing clockwise moment so i will write plus f of x and the perpendicular distance of this f of x from this point o is a b length right so i will write a b now we need to find o b and a b right so what is o b this is o b so as we can see so this OB length is given in parts, right? So this radius is 7, right? So then this distance is also, uh, sorry, this radius is 70. So this horizontal distance is also 70. So 70, I will write 70 plus this one 50 length plus this 70, right? So we will get this OB length plus 70. And similarly, AB length. So what will be AB length? So again, this uh, quarter circle, right? So this is also 70, 70. If we start from A, so then this is 25. So I will write 25. This vertical distance is 25, then plus 70, right? Plus 70. And then as we can see, this is also 70. So this is also a quarter circle. So plus 70 again. And plus, plus this 25, right? So this is A, B length. So now if, if we solve these, so OB comes out to be 290 mm and AB comes out to be 190 mm. This is 290 and this is 190. So now I will put the values in this equation. So moment about O will be equal to FY. So FY is 120 cos of 30 degree into its perpendicular distance. So that is 290 divided by 1000 to get the answer in meters, Newton meters plus F of X. So F of X is 120 sine of 30 degrees into 190 divided by 1000 
right so when we solve this so we get the moment about point o right so moment about o is 41.54 newton meter right and the direction is we as we have assumed that this direction is positive so this sign is positive so this means that this moment about point o is clockwise moment right so this is the solution of the first part now to find to determine the value of alpha which would maximize the moment about point o so let me join these two points let me join o with a right so when this force it will be making 90 degrees with this ol distance right so if this is 90 right so then the moment will be maximum about point o right so then we need to find this alpha so as we can see that this line this vertical line this is that same vertical line which is perpendicular with this line right so this line this ab line is perpendicular with this ob line and similarly we see uh, we similarly i told you people that this force will produce maximum moment if this is perpendicular with this oa arm so so this force is also perpendicular with this oa arm so this means that if this is alpha so then this angle is also alpha right so now we can find this alpha by using this triangle so we already know this ab length so this ab length is 190 mm and this ob length is 290 mm so if I apply tan alpha, so tan alpha will be equal to perpendicular divided by base, right? So alpha will be equal to tan inverse 190 by 290, right? So this alpha comes out to be 33.23 degrees, right? So this 33.23 degrees. So if the force is applied at this much alpha, so then it will produce the maximum moment right so now if we yeah and it is also said that find that maximum moment as well right so i will write that maximum moment m maximum will be equal to 120 r f into d right so this is 120 newton and d so what will be the d distance or so this will be o a right so we will find this o a length right so we can use Pythagoras theorem so we will write this 120 and OA will be OB whole square plus AB whole square under the root 2 right so I will write it like this so if I put value so 120 OB is 290 divided by 1000 so I will write this 0.29 right so I will take the length in meters so it will be 0.29 square plus 0.19 square and under the root so if we multiply this so we will get the maximum moment so m max about o right so I will write it like this so this maximum moment is 41.60 right Newton meter and the direction as we can see that the direction is clockwise so I will write clockwise right so this is the solution of the second part so this will be the alpha which will maximize the moment and this is the value of that maximum moment so this is the solution of this problem